Hey folks, it's John. Welcome back to the old homestead here. Well, I'm a soup sandwich. Uh, it is humid today and we have an unexpected project that we are having to take care of. Now the bugs are out. They are fierce. Wind is blowing. It's overcast and uh, it's pleasant right now, but it's humid. So I've started digging some holes here and uh, we're gonna put some some posts in because we got a fence off a place for the dogs. Now we just normally let them run loose here on the farm. They do what dogs do. They're normally pretty good. However, Gibbs's need to chase uh, the tires, especially on the RTV, and uh, well, he started chasing cars, so it's uh, it's become a problem that we need to address before little Gibbs gets uh, underneath the tires of the Universal Pet Smashers or or uh, the FedEx truck or just regular old mailman. Now the mailman's not too bad. There's a FedEx person or two that blow up through here just as fast as they can go. I understand they're on the clock and they got things to do, but uh, it's only a matter of time and it's gonna be an unpleasant experience all the way around. So it's in our best interest to, uh, to fence off a spot. So that's what I've been doing all morning and uh, digging is slow. Uh, I don't wanna jinx myself as I get a bug in my eye there. I don't wanna jinx myself cause it's been pretty good digging so far. I've only got probably four holes dug in the last hour. Uh, I mean, I'm old man digging here. I'm taking my time, I'm using my breaking bar, I'm using my post hole drivers, or my post hole diggers, uh, which I haven't broke yet, surprisingly. Uh, I've probably gone through three sets of those things since I've been on the farm, and the last time I went and bought a pair, I bought the cheapest ones I could find, and I'll be damned, they're still kicking. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, gonna run probably some kind of picket fence style down through here and it's going to run down and tie into the corner of the building over there and then it's going to come across and tie into the corner of the house there's a gate laying there in the grass that's probably where I will put a gate uh, not big enough for the riding mower to get through and then back up here behind me we'll run from the corner back over to the house and join it up and then there's a door right here on the side of the house that we can let the dogs out. They can still see down the front. They can bark at every mail truck that comes by. They can see visitors when they show up. Uh, they just won't be able to race down across the lower 40. And uh, rarely do they pass the gate, but I have seen them do it. So it'll, uh, it'll just put our minds at ease that if the dog's out and we hear them going crazy, that they're not down there trying to uh, to patch a hole in the driveway. So that's the plan. Of course, Amanda pitched this idea and she says, I think you can get this done in the afternoon. Now this will be an all weekend project. So I'm gonna get as many holes dug as I can today. Uh, I gotta go to the happiest place on earth, the landfill. On the way back from there, I'm gonna stop and grab some post. Uh, six foot uh, four by fours I think is what I'm going to use I'm going to get those set and then uh, we'll figure out what we want to do for pickets and and all of that which will probably be uh, future John to worry about uh, another trip to the store or whatnot uh, it is supposed to rain today probably not going to do it till after dark so that's good as long as this breeze stays up I wish it would blow the bugs out of here because the gnats are ferocious but uh, yeah, get these in the ground. See some ladybugs crawling around over there. That's always good. I don't know where that's coming from, but squirrel. So yeah, it's uh, it's humid. I'm you know I'm absolutely disgusting. So yeah, I got uh, two more holes to dig on this line. I got six over there and five up here behind me. All right, well, Amanda just discovered a wasp nest and got stung a few times, so I need to go check her out and make sure she's uh she's okay uh, other than that yeah I'm gonna be working on this project and it will uh, it's gonna be an evolution I'll probably check in with y'all from time to time 
other fun thing we did today is we let the geese out of their little goose run here. I just opened the gate. The boars are in there cleaning up some of the stuff the geese don't want to eat. And the geese were up at the top of the hill enjoying the water that the pigs have. So uh, I'll call that a win-win right now. It's fun to watch the geese out and about. And the pigs have been pretty good today. It's funny though that boars will go inside the little goose run here and when they come out the pigs that haven't gone in what do they do they start fighting so funny i mean it's must be nice to be such a simple machine uh anyway uh lots that i need to be doing but this is definitely uh all of a sudden taking priority and uh yeah we'll see what we can do hopefully i can get it done this weekend because it's uh it's a good weekend for it all right everybody we are back from the landfill had to change my shirt while I was just a suit, freaking sandwich. It was disgusting. Got the windows down on my truck. Let some breeze blow through. Landfill was not that bad today, surprisingly. I expected there to be a lot more people trying to clean up before the holiday next weekend, which is the 4th of July for those of you playing along at home. So we just, uh, I say we, like I'm French, I just tended the animals. Huh. Just walked up that hill. Now I'm gonna huff and puff here. We stopped at Lowe's and got some four by four by sixes. I didn't get everything I needed, but it'll be enough to keep me going. Start getting some of these posts set. And it's a lot hotter than I thought it was. It's uh, it's all of 90 degrees out here. So that breeze has definitely been helping. But yeah, it's uh, a lot hotter than I expected it to be. Anyway, Amanda survived her uh, her wasp attack. She got stung a few good times. I am going to go down here, uh, get set back up, and lucky for me, the next two holes I'm gonna dig are in the shade. So I was gonna do this line up here, but it's all in the sun right now. <laughs> So I may go ahead and dig across this bottom because most of that's in the shade too. But we'll see. Got my gloves drying out. They were pretty soupy. All right. We'll be back. It's hot, folks. And I ain't afraid to say it. Ain't afraid to say it at all. Now it's gonna get pretty tricky right in here because there's a bunch of concrete and I'm hoping I can get a hole right in here. Roots aside and everything else that I'll just have some overhang here that'll have pickets put on it but the post is gonna go right here. I don't think I can get it any closer to that shed. Now this is my sixth hole and it took me I mean, I've been taking my time on this one. I'm trying to get acclimated again. I'm telling you, it's probably 15 degrees hotter when when I left than what it is right now. Plus my dumb behind, cut the AC on and got all cozy. Uh, I know better, but that don't stop me from doing it. So, I mean, if the sun stays behind these clouds, I may go ahead and move back up here my issue down here like i said if, when i get over here if i catch a, some utilities or something i mean i'll be taking it easy and hopefully if it's electrical it's uh it's got some tape or something on it i mean i just planted that plant the other day with no issues and my post is going to be right about in line out from the wall so anyway yeah, it's hot. I mean, Murph ain't ready for this. I'm telling you. Whew. Anyway, I hope y'all are all faring better than I am right now. I said this getting old stuff sucks. Anyway, I'm just taking my time. I told the girls they're doing other things. If y'all look out here and I'm laying face down, that's not a natural position. 
and it's uh, not one that I will assume willingly. So uh, if you see that, then you might want to take some uh, take some steps there to find out what's going on, with dear old dad. Whew. Yeah, I hope we get some rain tonight, though. It'll be nice. I think it's going to be warm again tomorrow, humid again, and then the temperature is really supposed to drop come Monday. Uh, but I got to work, and even though next week's a holiday, I mean, I'll be off thurs Thursday for the 4th, but uh, I think it's supposed to be pretty warm again by then. Anyway, I'm just going to slow and steady wins the race here, because that's about the only way I'm going to win a race. All right, other than running my mouth, jumping to conclusions, I could be a uh, Olympic star in uh, either one of those events. All right, Jilly, you want to talk about this fence? This is the crooked but not crooked fence. Yeah, it's pretty wild up on this hill. I mean, I don't think that turned out too bad. You should show this one from the side. Yeah, this post right here. I mean, if you're standing, it, it's just wild to look at it from that that is a plum post and it's uh Anyway, I'm sure you all have dealt with some uh, crooked, hilly terrain before. So anyway, we just put the geese back into their pen as you probably saw on the time lapse there. We had to get the boars out of their pen. Uh, didn't get near as far as I hoped to get today. It just got so hot. Uh, and we abandoned that hole down there that I was talking about earlier, that last one I had to put in on this side. There's just root after root after root, which is shocking considering there's just some huge trees right there. So tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and I'm going to start working on this run right here before the sun gets out and starts cooking me. And then I'll work on that part down there. Hey everybody, it is Sunday, July, I think it's July 8th. It is a pretty nice afternoon here. I'm trying to let the humidity burn off a little bit. It's uh, actually been kind of low the past couple days. But it's going to be a hot one again today. I shouldn't say that. It's going to be in the low 80s. I'm going out to water pigs this morning. And then you might be able to see it in the background. Whew, walking up that hill. We're getting that dog fence put up for Gibbs. That's been taking a lot of time with the heat and just trying to get schedule set up so we can work on it but we're hoping to finish it today all right let me go find my hose So I got the new cow water put in here, and so far, so good. You notice the water's clean. <coughs> Excuse me. It's high enough the pigs can't get into it. Although they're rubbing all around the outside of this. 
And I just feel this a little bit of day. The cows actually drank out of it yesterday, which was good because they've been scared of it otherwise. First day I put it out here, they didn't know what to do. But if I was a prey animal, I guess I would uh, be scared of new stuff too. I looked out probably an hour ago. Boars were all chilling, sleeping down there in the shade. And then a couple of these fools got to fighting. And Wiz here, who's my biggest boar, he's obviously a little hot. So he's uh, trying to cool himself off. Now the good thing is right here in the shade, uh, we got a, a nice cool breeze blowing. It's probably not 80 degrees yet. If it is, it's in the low 80s. Low humidity today. But they'll get down here and they'll lay up in this. Like I said, they'll dump this water as fast as you can put it out. Uh, everybody got a chance to get a drink. Which is the important thing. Other than that, they're just being ridiculous. Goose here finally figured out how to drink without dumping the water. <laughs> Characters. So on these hot days, like I said, this is not really that bad. It was, I think, 101 two days ago. Which those aren't uncommon temperatures out here by any means. But it's when that uh, humidity gets up there. Those heat indexes get high. And it's just kind of, there's no breeze. It's just kind of flat. It gets pretty miserable out here. But these pigs have a sizable wallow. And we've been getting enough rain that it's kept it full of water. So yeah, here's the fence so far. The only boards we got left to put up are on this back side here. Digging up here wasn't too bad. Kind of like chipping in the concrete when you got down to that hard clay. But all these posts set pretty good. Uh, one post we were having a problem with, surprisingly, is right here at the base of this walnut. So we're, oh, excuse me, trying to figure out what we're going to do here. If I'm just going to move this hole over a little bit and try again. There's a huge root right there. Uh, down here, not too bad. This was pretty, that was easy digging. These three posts right here were a challenge. This one especially, there are some huge rocks right there. Uh, that one, we managed to get them out. And then this post here by the house went in pretty good. It's all gravel in there, so I'm assuming somebody put some drain tile in at some point. Probably what that corner drain runs down through. and. The winter goes out over by the septic. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a project other than it's just been miserably hot and painfully humid. That's been the biggest ordeal with, with making progress on this. But Gibbs did get out in the road three or four days ago. We had a, a contract Amazon driver come up, you know, somebody in their little car and uh, you know a car he wasn't familiar with So he decided uh, he didn't want to listen. Uh, I was at work Amanda was here and he run off down the road and Or will run off down the drive Normally he doesn't cross the gate this time. He did he went right out in the middle of the main road out there Of course Amanda on her her busted up knee Got down there and started waving at traffic to slow down uh, The Amazon driver wasn't much help which you don't expect him to be it's not their job to keep people's dogs out of traffic. So the faster we get this finished, the better. Now we do have this, this old gate here that we're going to hang between these two posts. And a little more modern one up there that's going to go between those two posts. Just because I had these gates here on the farm, we're going to go ahead and reuse them. Uh, I wanted this gate to be a little further over there. Uh, but there was, uh, like right here is where we were going to put the gate. That was, there was no... No going through that. There was a rock there. I'd hit it with a breaking bar and I could feel it vibrating, you know, a couple feet around that hole. So we weren't getting through that one. I'd have tried, but man, I'm I'm already hurting. This definitely uh if you do this all the time, it's a workout. But I don't do it all the time and it's killing me. So anyway, we're gonna uh Start getting everything set up. I pulled my generator out yesterday and was running some stuff off of it. I actually pulled the big air mover over here and had it blowing a breeze on us, which was really nice. And the generator needs to be ran. 
All right, everybody. Uh, I know this is not uber exciting stuff, but you know, when you got animals, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And if you're going to put a fence up, you might as well put a nice one up. So it's a lot more expensive than uh, I wanted it to be. But I think this fence will last a long time. Now this is all pressure treated wood. So once it sets for a little while, um, we're going to come back out and paint it. We'll probably let it sit a couple months and uh, figure out if, well, if we're going to stain it or paint it. But I think it'll look really good once we, uh, once we get it put in. And it's really changed this side of the house. I mean, it's, it's definitely uh, a big difference. I haven't gone down to the road yet. Actually, I don't even know if you can see this from the road right now, considering everything's green. But I think it'll look good when it's all said and done. Well, they're at it again up here. Wes got himself all cooled off. Now him and Draco are trying to sort it out. That ain't food, buddy, that's screws. I'm up here working at this corner. And of course the pigs are interested in everything that hits the ground. Well, there ain't much you can do about it, but let them go. I can't separate them right now. And even if I did, if I put them back together, it'd be 10 times worse than what they're doing right now. These pigs have a love-hate relationship going on with the geese. Wiz, there ain't no way you're letting that little guy put you in your... Actually, that ain't Wiz, Wiz that's Romeo. I mean, I'm sorry, that ain't Draco, that's Romeo. All right, that makes a lot more sense. Romeo will put him in his place. Yeah. Romeo's my oldest boy. I just don't know what these two are, are all worked up about. Wiz is my biggest boy. He's probably north of 300 pounds. He is solid. <laughs> Just a smacking. They'll get to smacking and foaming at the mouth. And if they really get in each other, they'll rip bloody chunks out of each other. Now they all have armor. Now it looks like Wiz might have a cut there on this. I'm sorry. Man, if I can remember my pig's names. Looks like Romeo might have a cut there on his front right shoulder, but. Anyway, we're about to make a design, a design decision here on this fence. And I'm going to stop talking since I ain't doing it no good today anyway. All right, folks, it's just a wrap up this fence project. As you can see, we got it, uh, we got it all put up. Now, it's not 100% done. There's some, some boards, you know, some lipstick on the pig, I guess, we're doing on the outside. And I still have to top all these posts. But it is closed in. Uh, I think it turned out really good. You know, we did a good job working with with what we had and our opinion. We're not professional fencing people. You know, I can dig a hole. I can put a post in the ground. I can make sure it's straight up and down. And we can put some boards on the fence. So that's pretty much what we did. We didn't make it any, any more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, Amanda's happy with it and that's all that matters. So this being pressure treated, we still have uh, some time to wait before we can paint it or the paint will just fall right off of it. So we'll probably give it a little bit out here in the weather and then we'll, uh, we'll get that taken care of. Uh, we're not gonna keep that gate. Obviously it's not attached. If you can see it's up there with bungees, but we're gonna try to find another gate because we end up really liking this old one. You know, that's probably from the seventies or something like that. So. It's, uh, Amanda said you can still buy the piece that works for this latch, so we're going to get that and finish that part of it up, so that'll be good. But, yeah, outside of, uh, just some touch-up work here and, and putting the finishing touches on it, it's, it's good now. When we finally paint it, I'll come back here in a few months and, and say, hey, y'all remember that fence we did? Well, here's what it looks like now. And I'll probably have a total price on this. Uh, when we were getting started, I said it was going to be a $500 fence, and, and we probably uh, 
we're probably somewhere right in there, maybe a little north of that, because we had to go back and get a couple extra things. And, uh, you know, you don't account for the price of some stuff that's that's gone way up since the last time I had to buy it. You know, like a box of screws costing almost 40 bucks, stuff like that. So, of course, now we can put the dogs out here. You know, we don't have to worry about little Gibbs uh, chasing cars down the drive and running out into the road, and that is the big thing. So that's uh, that's something we are very happy about. In the last or two, she's still scared of everything, man. I don't know what's going on with her. But if we put her out here, she can't go hide under her porch. And... Now we got to get this stuff cleaned up from back here. Make sure they can't chew on my extension cord there, but that's not a big deal. I need to get my tools put away. This will be a work in progress. This whole shed needs to get cleaned up and something done with it, or I guess we'll see. Ain't that right, Gibbs? You're the reason we had to just stop our lives and put up a fence. That's all right, buddy. We think you're worth it. You little stinker. Uh, yeah, lick me. I'm probably pretty salty, all sweaty. Little stinker. He's our little buddy. He's turning into a good dog. He's trying to be anyway. Ain't that right, Freya? Freya's doing okay over here. She's uh, she's like, hey, I'm never in trouble. Why am I getting put on lockdown? All right, let me get off this. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We really appreciate all y'all. Uh, got any questions, comments, concerns? Go ahead and drop them in the comments. If you like our fence, let us know. If you don't like it, hey, you can let us know that too. But uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, you get what you get. Mileage varies around here for sure. All right, everybody, y'all be good, and we'll catch you next time.